Hello everyone, welcome back with another very useful and informative video. In this video, I'll show you if you're having this type of error on your iPhone or iPad device, description is not available on your iPhone device. Then here in this video, I'll show you how you can easily fix this type of problem on your iPhone or iPad device. So first of all, here you will have to close this tab. After that, first of all, here you will need to open setting on your iPhone or iPad device. Then here you will need to scroll down here. Then here you will have to search for screen time. Here screen time you will need to tap on this. Here you will have to scroll down then tap on content and privacy restrictions. So after that make sure that this toggle is disabled from here. Then after that go back. Again open setting on your iPhone device. Then after that here you will need to scroll down then tap on general. Then here you will need to again scroll down then here tap on transfer or reset iPhone. Then tap on reset then here you will need to tap on recent network settings after that here enter your iphone passcode then after that check that the problem fixed or not so if you're having still this problem then here you will need to scroll down then again tap on general then here tap on soft update and here make sure that you are using an updated version of ios if you don't have an updated version of ios then you will have to update your iphone device to the latest available version so after that here you will have to make sure that you are not connected with any vpn if you're connected with vpn then here you will have to disconnect with vpn then after that check that the problem fixed or not so if you're having still this problem again open setting then scroll down all the way then tap on transfer or reset iphone then tap on reset then here you will need to on reset all settings after that here you will need to enter your iphone passcode then here you will have to close this tab after that here you will need to open app store on your iphone or ipad device then here you will have to try to perform any action on your apple id then after that after all these settings hopefully your problem will be fixed and you will be able to fix this problem on your iphone or ipad device after all these steps so that's it from this video hopefully you like this video if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and also press bell icon so that you can get my all upcoming videos thanks for watching this video